Hello everyone, it is Dennis here, and today I will be showing you my Rubik's Cube collection of in, in November 2018. So, without further ado, let's get started. So yeah, basically over the um the years I've been cubing, I've been cubing for about a year. I, it, th it all started in April of 2017 when I got a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube for Easter because I wanted one to learn how to solve because I thought it would be easy, just like every non-cuber on this planet. Everyone thinks 2x2 two two is easy, but it's really hard. So eventually, the day I got it, I looked up the walkthrough on Rubik's.com and found out how to solve it. And here we are now with um, over 100 cubes. I'll count it out at the end, but I think it's 130-something. I don't know. But yeah, so anyways... Let's get started. First of all, we have my one by one Rubik's Cube that I actually made in a video. I will leave a link to the video in the description of me making this. So next we have my Rubik's 2x2, Rubik's 3x3, Rubik's 4x4, Rubik's 5x5. Also, the 4x4 is a funny story because basically I used to have this other pair links, um, and I traded it to my friend who's a non-cuber. But he somehow got, he had a Rubik's 2x2 two two and 4x4. Four four. That's why I have two Rubik's 2x2s. Two um, I actually, um, I actually technically used to have three, but one of them broke and I used it to make the 1x1. One one. So, I, it might have been for the best. But anyways, so yeah, I got that through trade. Thank you, um, David, you know who you are if you're watching this. Thank you for that. <clears throat> um, we have the 5x5 five five Rubik's Cube. Oh wait, also this is tiled. These are all tiled for some reason, except the 5x5. Five five. I don't think they ever made a tiled 5x5. Five five. Stickered. Um, we have Shang Shao 6x6 in black, Shang Shao 7x7 in black, and Shang Shao 8x8 in white. Now you're wondering why did I get this in white? Because it was Amazon and it was cheaper and I didn't feel like spending money. And yeah, I'm going to be getting a 9 by 9 suit because the MF9 just came out. A while, not that long ago, and it's thirty dollars. So I'm glad I waited on getting a nine by nine because the shank shell is like sixty or something. So now we have my mains. We have the MF2 two by two. Um, I'll also leave a link to all my mains in the description of this video. So we have the MF2 two by two, the Moyu Waylong GTS 2M, which I also will be getting hopefully the GTS 3M soon. But yeah. Also, we have the MF4 4x4. The 2x2 and 4x4 actually came in like a pack that I got at Dixon Spring, actually, I'm pretty sure. I, no, it was spring, I think. It was either winter or spring. No, it was winter. It was winter. Speaking of Dis Dixon, um, it's almost December. Why won't you make another competition? I haven't been to one since summer. Like, it's literally been... I'm going to rent. Okay. Okay, I can't get into this right now because it's literally these. Oh my god, it's been so long. Never mind. Um, beep. So now we have my mains. So now we have my mains. We have the uh, um MF two two by two. Um, the Moyu Waylong GTS two M. I will actually hopefully be getting the three M soon. Um, I actually have the MF four four by four four. I think it's called. Yeah, I think it's MF four four by four. Um. Um, I, the, the MF, the, the 4x4 and 2x2 came in a pack, so yeah, I have the Xing Chao GM 5x5, thank you to someone at a competition who generously set this up for me for free, I wanted to pay him, but he would not take my money, for some reason, I don't know why, but yeah, thank you, um, to, um, to set that up for me, um, you know who you are, thank you very much. Uh, I have the, uh, I forgot what it's called. I'll put the name of the 6x6 on screen if I remember. But the link will be in the description maybe. I don't know. I'll have to find it. <clears throat> I might, I don't know. Because I got the 6x6 and 7x7 at Coach Big John. I, <clears throat> I know, I, I don't remember the name. Is it 6x6 and 7x7? I think... The brand for the 6x6 is Cyclone Boys. I know that. And then 7x7 is Chi. I'll, 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 I have the links in the description. Now for my OH main, I have the Chi Warrior W. For feet, I have the Chi Big Sail, just like everyone on the planet. If you, c you can't really see it back there. But my X-Men Bell Pyraminx. Um, and then for Scube, I have a Roll Your Scube in white. It's 
magnetic, I'm pretty sure. It's in white because, again, it was in a competition, and I and it was $2 cheaper. So, yeah, steel. The X-Man... Jesus Christ. No, not she. It's the... Mm, she -E square one. It was... I think it's the Chi Square One. I think it. Oh my God, it's the Chi Square One. Now I actually had to order a replacement part for that because I, I broke one on accident. See, so yeah, I had to buy another one. I have some Chi Mega Minks that I traded somewhere at a competition because it was sculpted. My other main was a Mephits. Okay, I had to. Lingao Clock. It's like one of the only clocks on the cubicle. I think it is the only clock on the cubicle. Okay, so now to just other, um, like, cubes. So we have my 5-5 five five cube, 4x4, 5-5 four four, five five cube, 5x5. Five five. They're just knockoff brands that I found on Amazon. It was my first 4x4 four four and 5x5. Five five. Uh, I also used to have a 5-5 five five cube 2x2, two two, but I traded someone at a competition for something. Now, I actually restickered them both myself. I'm actually still really proud of that sticker job because it was one of the first ones I did and I think it was pretty good. So I also have um the Yushin Little Magic. So the two big ones under here are the uh Gan Rubik Scan Speed Cube, which is actually a pretty good cube. I I like the tiles on it. Like but I I maybe would use it as a speed cube if I had to in like a competition. Like if my GTS 2M got stolen and I had that, I'd definitely use that. Um, or I'd ask someone to borrow their GTS 2M because let's face it, almost everyone has one of those. I have this world's smallest Rubik's Cube, which it really isn't, but that's what the package said on it. And I, I don't remember the brand, but yeah. I have this Rubik's Cube that someone actually just gave, someone gave me. Thank you to whoever, to... I'm not going to say names except the one person's name because they I know they're okay with it. But um, thank you to uh, to whoever gave me that. I know your name, but I'm not going to say it for privacy issues. Um, I have two Rubik's Keychain. Why do I have two Rubik's Wait, no. Why do I have two Rubik's Keychain? Wait. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember why I have two of those. Um. <clears throat> um. So also, I have two of these little stickless cubes, because fun fact, I bought one of them. These used to, they used to be keychains, so I bought one of them for my uh, what is it called? Um, my. God bless it. My uh, <clears throat> my. My lunch bag for school, and then one of them got stolen. And I bought another one. And then at my house, I lost a piece in my couch. And then I bought another one. And then I found the piece from my couch, so I, now I have two of them. I would have made force cubes out of them, but they weren't on Amazon anymore. So I had to use smaller cubes. Yo, the force cubes, I... Oh my god, I didn't have but Oh wait, you didn't... I have this little Mario cube that I got in a competition. I really like that cube. If it was full size, I'd love it even more. The fourth cubes. Now, the reason the mini is because I didn't have enough budget. I didn't have a budget. And if if I if the MF3 cubes, like the cheap ones, were out at that time, I would have definitely used those. I might make more fourth cubes because it's kind of fun. But I kind of like mess them up a little bit because they're so small. Mole cube. All right, now let's move on to the base three base threes. I have my another Rubik's brand. Uh, oh my God! What is it? Is that a thunderclap? It might be a thunderclap. It's a Chi thunderclap. Yeah, that's a thunderclap, right there. That's the Chi thunderclap. I'm pretty sure. Dang it! Is that the Cyclone Boys? That's a Cyclone Boys white force cube. So, so someone sold to me on a comp. I like buying things. It's like the dunk. This is the Duncan cube. The Duncan Rubik's cube. Watch Michigan 2017 day one. I, I used that. It's not a good cube. No, and I still didn't. And I still got sub one. Like round of applause for 2017 Dennis. Like actually. Okay. Um. <clears throat> what? What else? I can't quite see it. Oh. Oh yes, yes, yes. This one. I'm sorry, it's kind of covered. But this is a, a cube from Disneyland that one of my good friends gave me. Thank you to John, uh, you know who you are, not my brother John, another person. 
Thank you to him for giving me that generously when he, his, him and his family went to Disneyland. Um, anyways, so now we have back here the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Cube. I'm sorry you can't see them, but you can see the Switch logo, kind of. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Cube that I bought on launch of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm choking. We have the Mario Maker Cube that I actually bought at a competition, so I couldn't pass it up. Ah, hydration. Um, we have my Bing Bang Theory custom Rubik's Cube. Just zoom in on that. We have Sheldon on the front. And then there's all the other ones. And I have a Brookfield Zoo Cube that I got. Like, honestly, Rubik's Cubes are starting to become a thing now. Like, again, everything's going to be turned into a Rubik's Cube. It's going to be so great. Like, I'm going to literally go to Target, and there's going to be a Target themed Rubik's Cube. That would be legendary. Like, I would buy that. They're going to make money off all the smart people. I have the V-Cube Create Your Own Cube thing. I used to use some random pictures. I will be probably making another one. I don't remember what this is. It's the Mofang gel sheet, something like that. It's like Mofang. Wait. Oh, there's another cube. Wait, I, I have another one. cube I lent it to my dad it's not here hold the phone wait I need to look for it now oh hold the phone it was the same thing it came in the bundle with the 2x2 and 4x4 main I don't care but I don't know where it is <coughs> I'm so good I'm sorry guys um I also have this little cube I won at the arcade and then this one I found at the bookstore the used bookstore because why not now for two by twos i only have three rubik's band rubik's junior <clears throat> and mo Yu ling po now for cuboids so i just had to check something really quick so yeah anyways now we have cube oh no my camera is low on battery that's nice um <clears throat> i'm gonna have to get that sorted out soon so anyways for the cuboids now we have i have two one by one by two by twos. I have the Z brand, which I really like that one. And then a 3D printed one that's not that good. But it was 3D printed by Corn Puzzle. So yeah, that's good. Um, I have this little thing I found at this store. I forgot what it was called. It's a one by two by three, and it's it's cool. Look at let me let me take let me pick it up. Look at look at it look at. Let me just let me zoom out. Look at this. The reason I'm zooming in and not picking everything up is just because I don't feel like it. But I'll pick some things up that I feel that are notable. This cube is so easy. Just like some little things. Like, oh, how do I fix this? Oh, I do this. Now these two sides are solved, but these two sides are messed up. So, you just have... And there's things that, no, that people just don't think of to do. I, I just really like this cube. It's pretty cool. It's a little thing... Alright, let's zoom back in. One by one by three, it's some off-brand thing. I don't, it might not be off-brand. I'll look at my cubicle history, okay? Uh, I'll put the name on screen because I have it in my cubicle order history. I'll put it on screen. If I had to take a guess, it might be Chi. I'm not sure, though. <clears throat> now, I, this one I got for Christmas, or so one by two two by three by three I don't remember what brand it is and also this one you may be saying it's a three by three edit it looks kind of weird but I actually made this bandage cube because I got bored one day it, now you may say it turns normally it doesn't turn this way it's basically a one by one by three um it's just bandaged and I never felt filled in it this is kind of like a gag cube, like a cube that I'd bring to a competition and say, here, can you solve this? And they'd say, oh, this is, this sticker's messed up. That's weird. And then they try to solve it. And then, <clears throat> oh, wait. And then I, t no, I told them to try to turn it. And then, yeah, ha, ha funny. Um, so anyway, let me put that back. So I have my Lego one by, one by, 
one by one by two. Now I actually have another one, <clears throat> but I can't show you guys yet because I need to make a video on it first. But it's something else. It's some cuboid. It's not that, but it's a different kind of cuboid made of Legos, and it's really cool. I got it stick it up. But basically, yeah, I have to make a video on it because it's been done for a while and it's never been done before. I don't think so. I don't think it's ever been done. <clears throat> so also we have the Chi one by the God dang it! I can't do this video anymore. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm sorry, my throat is something now. Um, the Chi two by two, two by two by three. That's what it is. Ah, she eats two by two by three. That's what that is. Um, now I have the Wit Eden two by two by four. Wit Eden three by three by nine v one. Wit Eden three by three by nine v two. This this three by three by nine is actually a really fun solve. Like it's really fun. It's not that challenging. It's like five by five centers. It's like. Let me show you. It's like almost like. It's the centers, the centers are a 5x5. Five five. Look, let me show you. The centers are like a 5x5, five five. these three, you have to solve them like, almost like a 5x5 five five centers. Like, just the line. And then you have to pair up the edges like a 5x5. Five five. But you also have to pair up the corners. The corners is when things get tricky. Like when these two, if anyone knows how to fl just, when these two corners are flipped, how to flip them, I'd love if someone could tell me that. Because there's been many instances. I actually lost a piece when trying to take it apart to get rid of, to get past that. And I actually lost a piece for like several months until I eventually found it behind my computer. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, I have Siamese cubes, which are pretty cool. <clears throat> I actually have a few mods. I have the Siamese cube as one of them. Oh, also wait, we're moving on to like 3x3 three three like shape mods now. Um, we have the Mir Cube, Fisher Cube, um, Windmill, f ooh, I forgot something. I have Quad Fuse 2 by 2s I forgot to mention that. I have qu uh, uh, Quad Fuse 2 by 2s Okay, I'm sorry about that, I forgot. Because it's hiding behind here. Windmill Fisher Cube, Gear Cube, Mefferts Gear Cube, actually. Um, Mofang Joshi, uh, Master Morphix, uh, With Eden, Us. Oh my god, I actually can't remember the name. With Eden, Oscar, With Eden Mix Up Cube. It's the Mix Up Cube, Dennis, okay? Uh, I have the two Head Rubik's Cubes, My Little Pony, and Transformers. Fun fact about the Transformers, I bought it from Toys R Us, and then I took one turn of it, and it kind of broke. Like, a piece just fell off, so I have another one that I super glued together and did this. Might give it to a friend or something that likes Transformers. Now it's just like a Transformer figure. It's a constant reminder that I got, I had to buy another one, because it broke. I filmed my unboxings now. Well, it was in the car, and I was really eager, and then, yeah. Also have the little things that they go on because they won't stand up for some reason on here. Three by th the he what is this? The he shoe three by three octagonal barrel. Look, I've, I've actually had like a really bad history of cubes breaking. This one broke too. <laughs> I bought it off Amazon. I really don't know what I expected, but it literally just broke. This is literally what happened. Like, it just, whoop, not today, fam. This is literally what it did. Is like, nope, not today, fam. You're gonna. Whoop, I'm gonna break today. I actually kind of like this cube though because it was one of my first, like, th actual like three by three shape mods. That this this cube actually kind of holds a place in my heart. Not a place in my heart. But, like, I kind of like it because it was my it was my first three by three shape mod that. I really liked. So anyways, now I have a barrel cube that somebody gave me for Christmas. I have the Moe Wheel of Time. Uh the Void Rubik's Void Cube. Now 
look at some insane stuff. Like you can do this, put your finger through it, and it still turns. Albeit very badly. You know, there's this one trip to Toys R Us. I freaking made out the like I got so many cubes that day. Like literally, there was so many cubes I didn't have. There was the void. There was the um the void. There was there was there was something else too. There was another one. I don't remember. I forget. I'm dumb. Uh, I, I think there was another cube though. Um. Hmm. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah. This cube. It's like a fused cube simulator. Uh, which ones are bandaged? These ones are bandages, bandaged, so you can only make F moves, R moves, and uh, U moves. I have like a little stress ball type thing. Not quite a stress ball, but like, like it's like this thing. I like the shades on it, though. I'm not even kidding. I kind of like the shades. Um, Calvin's twist. Whoop. I had two by two mirror cube. Oh, also I'm now I'm into like not shape mods that aren't three by three shape mods. Two by two mirror cube paramorphics, I think it's called. Uh the uh uh the the oh my god. The gear cube the gear pyramids. No, wait. Let me just talk about. If I made another top ten list, top ten worst Rubik's cubes, this cube right here would be like number five. Number. This would be definitely on it. Do you know why it would be on it? It turns so. It, uh, okay, now it turns better. But like, it catches so much. Like, yeah, sure, it's a gear cube. Yeah, you should expect it to catch. But you shouldn't expect it to catch as much as it does. See, like, here, here, it catched. It, it just does that. And then when it pops, it's hard to get back together. And then this happens where you have to kind of pry it apart and then re-click the game in place. The worst part is the stickers. I'm telling you, some five-year-old actually put on the stickers and then sent it to me. Look at the sticker placement. I, t t I had to tear the sticker to get this off to take it apart because this piece had coming out. Look it, these stickers are bad quality and they were placed very poorly. Like, like, oh my, it, this is an $8 cube. You should expect something more from this. Like, jeez, this is awful. This is like really an awful cube though. I was very disappointed with it when I got it in the mail. Very disappointed, not gonna lie. I was pretty disappointed. But it's not that bad, but still, I don't like it. Like, that would probably replace the Mario Kart Deluxe Cube, maybe, I don't know. I have to make another one of those videos. <clears throat> um, I have the Scoop Scoop Extreme, the Scoop Ultimate, I think this one is. Ivy Cube, Gear Ball, Memphis Gear Ball, Moyu, Ready Cube, and now I have YG. That was the YJ Flappy Cube. It was the YJ. It was the YJ Flappy Cube. It was the it was a YJ one by one by three. That's what it was. Was I right? I think that was YJ. I have this one, the YJ Cube. I think this is the YJ Square One Two, maybe in Mefferts, uh, Mega Minx. Really like this one. My dad actually bought this for me. He saw it. This is my first ever Mega Minx. So yeah. It was really fun when I got it and you had to learn how to solve it. And now, for Pyraminxes, we have the one by one Pyraminx. Pyraminx, oh, yo. Look at me. Look at me, boys. Look at me flexing. Look it. I have this. I bet you don't. Do you know why I bet you don't? These were sold out on Mefferts.com 
for like so long. I bet you might have the leaf on Pyramid Steel, but you don't have the Mephrits. The over the Mephrits, the OG Mephrits, Pyramid Steel. You can see it's the OGs. Only the OGs will remember. Like, oh my god, it's insane. Like, oh my god, this is such a cool cube. So yeah, only the OGs remember. Like this, it's not even that bad that it's easy to solve. Hang on. Oh my god, I can't move it. There we go. Um. Yeah, it's not that bad that it's even easy to solve. But because, yeah, this is twenty dollars and it took like two months to get here. And I remember I was playing Mario Party Nine with my brother, and then I saw a package and I was like, you know what? Maybe it's maybe worth checking. And then I see. Hong Kong on. No, and then I see it tape. This is Mephrits on it. And I'm like, holy shit. Um, and then I have heart attack. Turn off the Wii. <laughs> Throw my controller at the TV and unbox it. I don't have the recording, unfortunately, though, of me unboxing. I'm kidding. I didn't actually break the TV. But, yeah. I have the Master Pyraminx Rubik's Tetramid, maybe? I don't remember the name of this. I have the, um... Then we have the uh, the carbon fiber two by two, three by three, four by four, five by five, pyraminx, scoop, mega minx, and yeah, I will be hopefully getting the square one soon. But yeah, I haven't got that yet. I also have the kilominx through gigaminx set. Shang Shao, Shang Shao, Shang Shao, Shang Shao. I actually had to get this to complete the line instead of having the Mephrits because the color scheme wasn't right. See, so yeah, I had to buy this one just to complete the set. Also, you know who you are if you're watching this video. You stole my one by one Mega Minx at Coach Pigia. It was, no, it was Dixon Spring. You, I, you know who you are. You stole my one by one Mega. I know you watch my channel too. You, I know it. Because you. <sighs> He stole my one by one Mega Minx. I know it. I know you did. I saw you do it. I saw it. I saw you do it. But I, I assumed it wasn't mine. And then by the time you had left, it was too late. I saw you do it. Don't even lie. Oh, God. Don't even lie. I saw it. Okay, that rant's over. Now I have to buy, like, it was $2, but still, now that's two more dollars I have to spend on another one. I have the calendar cube. It's no Sunday, November twelfth, so I don't have school tomorrow. So hopefully I can get this out by tomorrow, because you know Dennis doesn't like editing because he's a lazy piece of trash. But now that I have double monitors, I can watch a YouTube video and edit. So I might be motivated now. Mm. I have two fifteen puzzles now. This one I bought in Florida actually, because I had never gotten a fifteen puzzle. The first two days it was pretty hard because I didn't know how to get these three in the right position. But then I found out like a quick like maneuver, and it's pretty easy now. That I found, I was just messing around and found it out. And now I have another fifteen puzzle that my dad actually got me because his friend at work had one, and he asked my dad if I. He told he asked my dad if. He wanted it, so he didn't need it anymore. I think this might be one of the originals. And my dad said, yeah, and give it to, gave it to me from one of his friends from work. Gave it to him. So yeah, this one, we can just take this. And yeah, this one's very cool. I really like this one. So yeah. I bet now I'd be at, good at these like sliding puzzles that I have. Like, like I remember when I was younger, I had a Mickey one, Mickey Mouse one, and I couldn't do it. I bet I could though now. We have Gordian's Knot. That I, I, I was messing around with it one day and then I got it solved. And then to put it back together, I need to find a tutorial. Because basically, um, um, somebody said if I could take it apart without a video, they would give me it. And then I said, okay, challenge accepted. And, I, and you best believe I took it apart. And then they gave it to me, and then I watched Lego Boy Z3's tutorial, or Z3 Cubing's tutorial, um, because he renamed his channel, to, to put it back together. And yeah, I got it back together. Also, I have my Stack Mac Gen 4, I'm pretty sure it is. Let me show you it in action. Oh, I also have the, the smaller one, and the mat. 
I have the GX as well. But yeah. Also, the best cube in my collection. It's not a V8 Byte. It's not the Giga Minx. It is a Scube. You're probably saying I'm lying to you. I'm JKing. Well, JK boys. But no, I'm not actually JKing. We have a Scube here. Signed. I actually, as I go to more competitions, I actually have three more places to sign. And then all these corners. But the centers I'd like to get all signed first. But and it's actually coincidentally that I got it like this, so I can put it in this GAN cube, this GAN box. Unfortunately, I don't have the GAN 37, 357 anymore because I traded it for some cubes, which is probably worth, which is actually worth it. So basically, we have it signed by the Chris Olsen. Shut up, doorbell. We have the Chris Olsen signed it, Jahua Rubik's. And Brody the Glassner, aka Brody the Cuba. Um, uh, I got them to sign it at Dixon Winter, maybe? I don't remember. There's someone at my door now. I'll be, what? Never mind. It was a package. It's, I didn't know if it was, like, family or something. So, yeah, anyways. This is probably my best cube. I really like it because it's signed. And as I go to more competitions, I could probably get it signed more. And I think that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like and subscribe, and yeah, I'll s oh wait, we're not done yet though. I actually completely forgot about these two, and I looked over, and if I didn't look over, I would have ended the video. And that was actually a decently smooth transition. Let me just turn the lights off really quick. So the next cube we have... is the Rubik's light up cube. This is really cool. I got it at GameStop actually, believe it or not. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's just a light cube. Yep. My second biggest Rubik's cube, fun fact. Now, my biggest Rubik's cube is the giant. I don't remember what brand it is. It might be I swear to God, if that doorbell rings again. The next cube, we have my biggest cube. Who keeps ringing the doorbell? Who keeps ringing the doorbell? Jesus Christ. Um, okay. So the biggest cube, I swear to God, if that doorbell rings one more time. The biggest cube I have is the, I don't remember what brand, it might be Hishu, but it's the big, giant, it's hard to get it around the camera. Stick this three by three. It's hard to turn like this. It catches a lot, but it's not that bad. Okay, Jesus. Yeah, it's a very big 18 centimeters overall. And yeah, I really like it. this mindsling process of this video, Dennis has recently found the cube he was talking about. Dennis feels like an idiot now. This is the cube that came with the bundle with the 2x2 two two and 4x4. Four four. And I'm really not, I'm not refilming it. This is the thing, okay, look at the cube. Because I brought, I, I brought it to Florida. And it's still by all the stuff that I had brought. It was still by, like, the Nintendo Switch case. So, yeah. That's funny. So guys, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And turn notifications on for more videos like this. And leave a like for editing because it's going to be, it's not just putting the clips together. I'm going to have to actually edit. Also, I'll put the links in. Tell me if you like this video. There will be a poll in the top right hand corner, which is right about here. Um, so yeah, it should be here right now. Tell me if you like the video or not. Like if you enjoyed the video. And so, yeah, I'll also leave a link in the description for all my mains. And so, yeah, see you guys in the next. Also, leave, sorry, I'll also leave a link in the description for the calendar cube where you can get the stickers. And so, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.